Welcome everybody, this is uh, Hashim al Gaili here to provide you with more details about the recent hack that happened on my Facebook page. On the 30th of October, I received an email from Facebook at 1 in the morning, Berlin time, saying that my account was recently logged into using a confirmation code and an email address, which is an email that I don't own. It's Hashim gaily1990 at gmail.com this is not my email actually but whoever created this email knows something about me because that is my birth year the logging into the account was done from windows chrome browser and a german service provider so the first thing that you ask yourself when you see an email like this is is this a phishing email which is used to trick you into logging in into a fake page in which the hacker will get your password and email and the way you can find this out is by looking at the email itself if you look into the email it comes from security at facebookmail.com facebookmail.com is the approved facebook email if you see it then it's definitely coming from facebook and this is authentic when you receive this email from Facebook, you have two options. The first option is if you are the one who did this, you can ignore the email. If you are not the one who did this, you can disable the account by clicking on a link that is provided in the email. Well, the first thing that I did was try and reset the password with my own email and phone number. Unfortunately, when I tried, the hacker had already changed the email and the phone number. So when I request a new password, uh, the email goes to their own email that they have changed the account into. So instead I click that I am not the one who made this change or logged in into the account and I disable the account immediately. The time between the hack and disabling the account is 10 to 15 minutes during which the hacker had already changed a lot of things they removed my bank account details they hacked into what if page they removed admins from the page they basically added new people with fake names and fake emails into the business manager account of my page Basically, they had full control and we caught them in the very last minute before they could remove the last account from the page. Now, I run the page with multiple accounts. One of the accounts is an editor. And the editor does not have a lot to do. It's just posting content and looking at the insights and numbers. But the editor cannot assign admins and the page does not have an admin at this moment. If the hackers manage to hack into the second account or delete the second account, the whole page would have been lost. I immediately contacted Facebook and they responded quickly, really within like three to five minutes, saying, all right, we're into it. And they assigned someone to take care of uh, solving the problem. Unfortunately, the person in charge who uh, was supposed to solve the problem was sending me an email once a day <laughs> we're talking about a hack of one of the world's biggest facebook pages and i receive one email per day as a way to solve the problem this is the slowest response especially considering that we are supposed to be partners anyways even though facebook solved the problem at the end i uh, I think the response was very slow. While I was talking to uh, Facebook, I tried to investigate the location of the hack. And uh, luckily, Facebook's email provided me with the IP address of the hackers. And I have it here, but I cannot show it to you because it is with the police. The IP address, by the way, can be used to identify the location of the hacker. There are websites in which you place the IP address and they give you the GPS coordinates and when you take the GPS coordinates and you place them on Google Maps it will show you exactly the building where the hack took place 
basically. So I did this and uh, it turned out the location of the hack was a co-working space located in Berlin. Now this co-working space normally closes at 7 p.m. and the hack happened at 1 a.m. Just think about it. It is outside their working hours, which means probably this was planned. Oh, you know, when everybody is asleep, maybe Hashim al Gaili will be asleep at 1 a.m. They don't know that I actually sleep only four hours a day. <laughs> Anyways, I continued the investigation further and it turned out that someone I know works in this co-working space, which made me more suspicious that this is indeed the place where the hack took place from. I am fully aware that hackers use VPN to change their IP address. Maybe the hacker is from Macedonia or from Rwanda or from somewhere else and they used a VPN which changed the location into Berlin. It's possible, right? But VPNs always generate random IP addresses. It's impossible that a VPN would generate an IP address for a location where someone I know works. It doesn't make any sense, right? Honestly. The other indicator that this hack indeed came from this location in Berlin is because this co-working space organizes networking events. And these networking events are just a false pretense, actually. They gather a group of people from the social media atmosphere and you know, they call it a networking event. Somehow, in their event, the 4G network doesn't work. You know why? Maybe because they are using cell phone jammers. These are devices that block network signals. And so when you don't have access to 4G internet, you ask for the Wi-Fi network. And when you ask for the Wi-Fi network and you log in into the one they provide you, they have everything you got on your phone. They have your login details, your passwords, pictures, messages. It is all in their position. Now, one of the files that they could have access to is the cookies, you know, um, cookies of your login. They are sent to you every time you log in from a different device. And now that device is recognized as an approved device from where you can always log in without having to enter your password or email again. If someone can access this file through their uh, Wi-Fi network, which is what I logged in through this event, then they can transfer it to any computer. And when they transfer it to any computer, it will be recognized as an approved computer because now your login session is still there and they can log in through this file. So this is probably one of the ways by which they logged in into my Facebook profile. Another reason why I believe that the hack might have happened through access to Wi-Fi and stealing data through Wi-Fi access is because in order to change an email on Facebook, you must first be in a logged in status. You know, you can't change an email if you're not logged in. And uh, these guys have had this logged in status by getting the cookie file of the login and transferring it to another computer and using the new computer to log in directly and change the email and the phone number. One of the ways by which they could have also hacked into my Facebook profile is by having access to my email and phone number and using these details to hack into the Facebook profile. I mean, the person who I know and works at this space knows my email and phone number. But they would have to be extremely smart to do something like this. And we all know that if they were smart hackers, they wouldn't have left their IP address intact. Uh, so I don't think this was the way they hacked into my account. The next day I called the hackers. I called to their location. The first call um, was picked up by a girl and she listened to me illustrating the problem and then she hung up. Then I call again and um, a guy responds to my call and he immediately starts being defensive 
he um, starts using swear words and I mean seriously guys you were already stupid enough to leave your IP address in the hack so don't pretend to be smart enough to make up a lie it was quite clear from this behavior that they were not interested in approaching the problem through discussion and dialogue and proving their innocence from this hack and this really made me more suspicious that they are indeed the ones behind the hack I sent emails to people in charge of this co-working space but I haven't received any response as of now um, I'm hoping that the lawsuit will make them talk because I'm not going to let this go so we know the hackers we know how the hack took place we have all the proof all the evidence in our hands and the only thing left is to wait for the police report because I have already reported this to the police and they are investigating the case if it turns out that they were indeed the hackers then I'm going to proceed with a legal lawsuit against them for cyber crime someone commented on my post saying that you know why would you want to pursue a legal lawsuit against these guys I mean come on give me a break it's just a Facebook page come on guys today it's a Facebook page tomorrow it's a bank account today it's me tomorrow it's you it's not so often that we get a chance to catch hackers but when we do we shouldn't let go and that's why I'll do everything in my power to make sure that these guys if they are proven to be guilty that they will never do this thing to anyone else again and trust me these guys are organizing networking events inviting high-profile people from the social media atmosphere I don't even know how many accounts they have hacked into before this is probably the first time they get caught so I'm not going to let it go so how did we reverse the hack well reversing the hack was really easy for what if page um, and what if business manager we managed to get the account quickly but for my page the communication continued for a week and I'm really disappointed that it took a week to solve when it could have taken only one day and how was the hack reversed it's really simple they just removed the hackers email and they replaced it with an email that I provided and I used that email to get a link to reset the password easy I don't think it needed one week of communication with Facebook nonetheless I'm still thankful that they actually stepped in and they solved this problem and they contributed to reversing the hack it took around one week to solve my problem and I'm partners with Facebook with one of the world's largest Facebook pages think about other people who don't have Facebook pages who don't know how to speak to Facebook who don't know how to contact Facebook so many cases would be ignored and this is something that I believe should be fixed as soon as I logged in the first thing that I did was to check uh, what changes the hackers have made and it turned out they changed a lot of things first they changed the emails but now it's my email because we got the account back second they changed the phone number unfortunately I didn't get their phone number because they most likely removed it before we reversed the hack they added unidentified people with fake names and fake emails into the business manager of the account they removed the bank account details maybe they were in the process of uh, changing the bank account details so they can get the funds of the monetization program and trust me there aren't uh, a lot of funds there anyways I'm very glad that we managed to solve this problem and reverse the hack as soon as I um, managed to reverse the hack with Facebook I implemented new security measures well the first thing that you need to do is activate the two-step verification is also called the two-factor authentication this is basically use using a phone number or an app so that before you log in from a new computer you must approve this login from your phone you receive a message and um, this message contains a code and if you have access to this code you can log in if you don't have access to this code you can't so 
this is a very good extra security measure I don't know if hackers have already found a way around it but it doesn't hurt to set it up I have to be honest with you it wasn't set up before this but after this hack I decided to set it up the second thing is don't trust everybody you know really simple especially with emails and phone numbers that you use for logins what I advise you is that you create a new email and use this new email for your logins into other accounts don't use your name your birthday something of your interest make it unexpected email someone that nobody suspects this is really important because as I say most hacks come from people who know you and who know your interests on your birthday who know your locations your favorite things uh, so try to avoid uh, this by creating this email if you create the email with your right hand don't let your left hand know about it really update your login email everywhere with the new email that you will create the unexpected email this might be helpful another essential step that you could do is create a second email that no one knows about and use it as a recovery email this recovery email will be used in case you are unable to log in into the primary email so you can receive a link to reset the password and um, as I said the two emails should be uh, confidential no one should know about them except you and the service provider also invest in a new phone number this new phone number will be used for the two-step verification no one should know about this phone number except you maybe if you have a second phone or a phone that accepts two SIM cards then you can put the two SIM cards and use one of them for the two-step verification for your account Gmail Facebook Twitter all the logins you use and by the way the two-step verification now exists in almost every platform so just activate it everywhere another thing that I would recommend is well two things one go to your login sessions every two weeks in your on all your accounts also on Facebook and Gmail go to your login sessions and log out from every session every two weeks so in case there is any login session left somewhere else no one can use it to hack again into your profile every two weeks remember and every two weeks change your password with something strong really strong my final advice to you is to avoid logging into uh, Wi-Fi networks that you do not trust because this is how my page most likely got hacked and this is how many people are getting hacked and you really want to try to avoid Wi-Fi networks especially the ones that are offered for free and try to the best of your ability to use the 4G network that is provided by uh, to you in your SIM card by your service provider basically this is going to be a lifesaver all in all these are the latest details about the hack as of now there is more to come I'm still working on this case and I'll continue to work on this case but I will not let it distract me from uh, creating new content and uh, keeping the page active everything will continue as normal I want to thank you so much for your support really during this time when I announced that the page was hacked I really was pleased with the amount of support you uh, have provided this page is not just my page it belongs to all of us it's a page where there is credibility where you come to read pieces of information about interesting things about things that matter to you educational stuff that we want to spread based on science based on evidence we don't know what the hacker wanted to do with the page maybe they wanted to spread misinformation and destroy everything that I have built so far it's against everything that I stand for spreading misinformation 
and the hackers might want to utilize the page for that. Maybe they wanted to blackmail me into giving them money, or you know, they would ask for a ransom to give me all the access back. Maybe they wanted to change the bank account details so they can receive the fund of the monetization to their own account. That would be stupid, first of all, because there isn't much money to make. Second, if they would leave their account details, we would know who they were. So it's really not clear what they really wanted to achieve from this hack. With that being said, I want to thank you so much for watching. This is all I have to say for now. These are all the details. I'll continue to provide you more information in the near future as I continue to search more for additional details and hopefully the police report will reveal new information. If the police report confirms the hackers, you will be the first to know. Until then, keep protecting your accounts, keep protecting your Facebook profiles with the methods that I have listed here and I look forward to providing you more details. Thank you for watching.